here's a keyword. I might not be going back to school next semester. So, oh, that would be a good title for this video. Hello. I was taking pictures yesterday for a bunch of brand deals because I work with Vital Proteins and then I work with um, Greenslaw, so I had to take pictures for them. And then I also took a picture for this video that's going up tomorrow. When I take pictures on Mechanic T6i, I always use manual focus so I can just get the perfect photo. And then I always forget to change the settings to autofocus when I am doing a video. How was your college experience? So I've actually answered this in a different Q&A. I had the drive with me Q&A that I did in the very beginning of quarantine. And I pretty much said that as long as you prioritize things that you should be prioritizing, like your grades and your social life, then you should be good. But sometimes, like me, I prioritized other things way more. So it's just kind of what you feel like you need a little more of. If you feel like you should be studying more, then I would maybe take some time that you would have spent with friends in the afternoons on school weekdays and study. But if you feel like you're pretty good in that area, then maybe you can spend a bigger amount of time doing more fun things so pretty much just whatever works for you I say just manage your time college has been a crazy whirlwind for the entire time um yeah there's not much I don't know I can make a whole different video on that I'm not really giving you guys um the specific information that I feel like I should be giving you about college right now but that's because I truly don't know how to describe the past year of college because it just wasn't in my favor any of it if you want to know more about what i'm talking about just watch my last video where i described why going home from college for corona was a positive thing for me so we're just gonna throw that chapter in the past and we're gonna continue answering questions because it was just a freaking weird college experience um okay the next question we have is what is your favorite fruit my favorite fruit lately and pretty much for my entire life has been strawberries. So that I don't think that was like a die hard you need to know that answer, but in case anyone's wondering, strawberries. The next question is, do you have any tips for freshman college kids? Good question. So I would say definitely take some time in the beginning of the year to... I know stereotypically you're gonna want to talk to the people who are on your floor. So for me, I lived in this place called East Tower and it was obviously in Ithaca, but it's just, we had lower quads, upper quads, and then East Tower all for freshmen, which now that I'm thinking about it, that's a lot of places that freshmen live. But then I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess pretty much everywhere on our campus had a bunch of places. If you live on a floor in a dorm building with like eight to ten other people on your floor you're gonna probably want to get to know them because I actually just texted one of my friends who was on my dorm freshman year with me wait that sound that doesn't sound right who was in my dorm building freshman year and I remember anytime I was such a night owl freshman year it was amazing and anytime it was like 11 or 10 30 and I wanted to go hang out with friends and my roommate just wanted to chill in her bed and I didn't blame her because it was late, it was probably a school night or something, I would just go walk on over to the other side of the hall and I'd go hang out with these guys who I had become really good friends with at that time. It's not like we're best friends, we don't talk all the time anymore, but I just reached out to one of them yesterday and I was like, hey, we haven't talked in a while, let's catch up. Right now, I'm a rising senior and I still have the two friends that I ever made at college. One I made at orientation and one I made at Accepted Students Day and I still have those friends. I actually just texted one of them yesterday. So that's like almost four years ago of a friendship that I made the very first week of school that I would highly recommend if you guys meet friends during the first couple weeks of school, definitely try to keep in touch with them because that's like, yo, we went through all of college together. The next question is, what is your favorite part of the YouTube process? So my favorite part has always, always, always been editing. Filming is fun and all, but it takes a lot of work to plan and outline your videos and get the lighting set up, and that's just not my key thing that I love to focus on. And you also have to just do your makeup, and of course for this video I didn't do a lot of makeup just because it's quarantine. Yeah, editing is definitely my favorite part. I feel like especially when I was in high school and I was really getting into editing, I would stay up until 2, I would edit from like 11 to 2 a.m. Probably wasn't good for my sleeping cycle or whatever, but it was good for my brain. and. 
Editing is just my entire favorite thing. I totally messed up that sentence. You can tell I need to go take a walk or something, but editing is my favorite thing in the entire world. I could spend an entire day editing one video and it would be so fun for me. So yes, editing, editing, editing. This isn't really a question, but she said, how are you so beautiful and inspirational? And thank you. Um, I guess I just try to, first of all, under all this is still a skin situation that we have to work out so that's for a whole nother video if you guys want an updated skin story or i don't think i've ever made a skin story video on my channel but if that's something you guys want but also for the inspirational part i realized as soon as i started my mental health series that there's almost a lack of mental health awareness on youtube and i wanted to fill up that gate that hole that whatever you call it and just be that person for other people so that is that that's why I try to just help other people and I feel like if no one else is doing it on this platform, I will certainly take control and go for it. How did you get your hair so long? That is a good question. So, I remember um, a couple weeks ago, I put on my story, I had my hair straightened and guys, when it's straight, it's all the way, I don't think you guys can see, well maybe a little bit, but it's all the way down to my, my waist. Although I'm only 5 foot 1, I feel like my hair is abnormally long for my age and whatever. I just grow it out anytime I can. I get my hair cut maybe once a year. Definitely don't think I got it this year obviously because of quarantine and I have only had short hair one time in my life and it wasn't even that short. It was like this, this short. And I still have videos on my channel from then so if you guys do want to check that out go for it. But yeah I just don't ever cut my hair. <laughs> That's pretty much it. The last question that we have is your dream vacation spot. So I have always wanted to go to Hawaii. I was actually talking about this with my friend the other day, and it was one of those conversations where you haven't talked to each other, where you haven't talked to each other in a while, and then you finally talk, and you're like, "So, what's your dream vacation?" And mine has always been Hawaii. I have never been. Really want to go. Um, also, really want to go to Italy. Also, waiting for my chance to go to um, Ireland, but I actually have a little secret coming soon if you guys have seen my Instagram you guys know exactly what I'm talking about well maybe you don't maybe I keep it a little more hidden than I should but I have a little secret plan coming soon so if you guys do want to know where I'm going next stay tuned and I here's a keyword I might not be going back to school next semester so oh that would be a good title for this video okay with that note I am gonna go um this is the most impromptu video I've ever filmed besides the what's in my car video so well, that's fun. Um, I think I'm gonna go take a walk now because my mom has trained me to be good with my steps and we're gonna see how many steps I have today and it's embarrassing because I've barely moved. 1,500 steps. All right, we gotta work on that. Oh wait, no, she just updated. Hold up, hold up. 1,581 steps, okay. With that being said, I will see you guys on Tuesday for my mental health video and I will talk to you guys over on Instagram because y'all know I deleted Snapchat and not going back to that. No, no, no. We are not. No, no, no. <laughs> um, but if you guys do want to reach out to me, I'm always available through Instagram DMs. I have a TikTok, don't really use it. But other than that, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, no, wait, that's not my outro. My outro is for all my serious videos, which I guess this isn't, but my outro is always. With that being said, I will see you guys next Tuesday at 11 a.m. EST. So, um, it's kind of stupid to say that now because I just did an outro. But anyway, thumbnail time, and we're going to go. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys.